Hello everybody, this is Lilla in Hawaii. I've been a scrapbook keeper all my life and I've got several that have filled up to the brim. Some I've discarded but I kept a couple of the better ones and I thought I'd show you over the next few months maybe some of the projects that I kept or made up or whatever. So anyway, today I'm going to show you another folded pouch. Takes two seams, that's all and one piece of fabric and you end up with a lovely pouch that you can adorn any way you like. So here's the original. This is the original scrapbook page. And here is the, uh, it's the requirements and the directions for the pouch and some ideas of how to embellish it. I'm not going to go into the embellishment today. So anyway, this was a class I taught, this particular one. So I'll close up my scrapbook and I'll show you just a, a quick way of doing this folded pouch. I know I've shown you different ones. I don't think I've shown you this particular one before. This is the easiest. So here I go. I've got a piece of um, brocade fabric. You can use any fabric, of course. And it's approximately four and a half inches wide, and it is 18 inches long. 18 and a half inches long, actually. Four and a half by 18 and a half. You can make it any size. Also, this is a great way to use fat quarters. You get two from a fat quarter with no wastage. The first thing you do is you hem or zigzag or fold over even, you don't even have to hem it, the ends, but for this, because it's a brocade, it's sort of a little springy, I will go ahead and show you just a quick way of hemming it, you don't have to turn it twice, just, I wouldn't do this on most of them, I, I usually just fold it, but this, as I say, is springy, and it won't sort of hold a fold like it should. You can adorn this any way you like. Leave it plain, just put a button on it. Um, whatever you feel like. I made up a bunch yesterday. You just use scraps of fabric. Okay, here we go. So the first thing you do is you decide on the length or the depth, I should say, of your pocket. You turn the fabric right side up and you decide how long you want the pocket. Um, this is the first thing to do, just decide on that. If you want the pocket to be fairly deep and the flap shorter, well then make the pocket bigger, the flap shorter, I'll show you what I mean. But I usually go with, let me see, I can tell you. Pretty much just about half, in this case, just about half. So fold that up to there, fold this top part over top of it, and overlap it. And you're going to overlap it as much as you want the flap, meaning that the flap will be from here to the top. That'll be the depth of the flap. That makes sense. That'll be from that'll be the flap. That's the length of it there. This is just overlap. So this is overlap of the flap. So do that, and if you want to, you can put a pin in it just to hold it because you're going to sew it. Now there is a little trick that I was going to show you. If you want to embellish the flap before you sew it up, you have to figure out where the flap is. And the flap is going to be, of course, inside there. However, it's going to be facing the other way. And it's going to be on the back side, not the top side. I don't know if that makes sense. But I'll show you when I've done it. And so if you want to sew on the embellishment first, you would go ahead, you take this out, and you would put the embellishment on this part, which is the back side, you see when I do that, it's the back side, and it has to face that way. In other words, 
I'm going to put this woman on here, then she's facing that way. Her feet are this way. So it looks like it's upside down, but when you put it together, you'll see that it comes out correctly. So I'm not going to sew it on, but I think what I'll do is I'll just kind of pin that on right now. So you'll see when I turn it over. Okay, okay so there. So now it's overlapped. It's probably a couple of inches. That's not totally crucial. Now the only other thing to do is sew the side seams and um, just take a regular stitch. You don't need to back stitch. You can if you like. Okay, so there you go. I've sewn down this side and down this side. This was the way it was. It's overlapped, and it's overlapped. You can see it's overlapped like an inch and a half, two inches. Only other thing to do is turn it inside out. Remember I said the lady was upside down, it seemed to be? Okay, there she is when you do that. comes out just right. Now you can always sew her on afterwards. You can do this. You can sew it. Of course the sewing would show on that side and that's kind of okay. You can also pad these if you want. Um, they look nice made of denim. So That's it. Just that quick and that easy. Now with that I'd probably decorate it a bit with some I don't know. Got a got a little word there. I could put a little word with some lace. This one I did yesterday. Same thing. I had a pretty little piece of linen from France, and so I ironed on an image of an Eiffel Tower, cut a little heart out, and put a snap for the fastener. Just run and get the others. So here's another idea. I, this time I sewed on a patch, made a couple of bows and put on there. And there again, this is some nice linen fabric, and I just put a snap to close it. You can always put a little handle on these too. This one I had a couple of words here. This said writing things, so I thought this would be a good place to store some note cards blank note cards that you wanted to write on. And maybe you could find a little short pencil or something to go in there. And have some script, some French script on there. Okay. And then this one I made a little bigger. And this one is only in Provence. And I made a couple of shabby bows and a little rosette on this one. And um, again, there's some French script and a butterfly on the back. And also, this one has a snap closure. This is one of the clear snaps. So anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Another quick and easy from Lilla in Hawaii. Aloha.